Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to another episode of Video Game Pickups and as per usual gameplay footage is included for every game. And first up we have Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. This is a platformer where you control Jackie Chan whose sister has been captured and you set out to save her, fighting through several stages and bonus stages as you make your way to a final showdown. I really like how bright and colourful this game is and the game controls very well as well. This game does have limited continues though, so it will take practice to make perfect to run through this game. That's Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu on the NES. Next up we have Psycho Pinball on the Mega Drive. This is a pinball game, and it contains four tables to play on, which include the namesake Psycho, the Abyss, Trick or Treat, and Wild West. The tables have a lot of interactive objects to bounce your pinball into, and all the tables are also bigger than the screen size, which thankfully isn't an issue as the screen scrolls very naturally to keep up with the movements of the pinball. Each table has its own personality, and overall, I really liked how this game picked up and played. That's Psycho Pinball on the Mega Drive. And next up we have Road Rash 2 on the Mega Drive. This is a racing game, where the fast action of motorbike madness meets fast hands and sometimes weapons in road rage combat. You take part in no holds barred racing action across various roads and environments, where you are rewarded depending on placement, and with that reward you can upgrade your bike between the races. This game is very engaging and the scrolling feels pretty smooth when playing, so you aren't totally surprised when items pop out of the foreground and obstruct your path. Be careful not to get knocked off your bike, it may spell your doom as it's a long way back to your vehicle. That's Road Rash 2 on the Mega Drive. And next up we have Virtua Pinball on the Mega Drive. This is a pinball game that boasts 29 pre-made pinball arrangements as well as the option to build your own pinball arena with multiple assets, themes and backdrops to choose between. I think the customization is probably where the strength in this game lies. As such, it doesn't really play out like a traditional pinball game. Instead, you can build the pinball world you desire with whatever your brain can dream up. That's Virtual Pinball on the Mega Drive. Next up we have Pro Pinball Fantastic Journey. This is sold individually but it's also available as a double pack. If you look out for this sticker it will include a bonus game. And this version also includes Pro Pinball The Web as well. This is a pinball game. Pro Pinball emulates the look and the feel of a real world pinball table, albeit virtually. The whole pinball table is captured on a single screen, with the exception of the heads up display, which instead is overlaid at the top of the screen. This displays animations as well as the score and ball count. This version of the game also included Pro Pinball The Web on a bonus disc. This obviously has a different theme, and I really do enjoy the presentation of this game. Otherwise the display is similar with the whole pinball table captured on one screen and the heads up display overlaid on top. That's Pro Pinball Fantastic Journey and Pro Pinball The Web on the PlayStation. And next up we have Radical Bikers on the PlayStation. This is a racing game where you play as a pizza delivery person riding a super powered moped against the clock to serve fast food to impatient people. You ride against competition in a hazard filled raceway of oncoming traffic, where you have to reach checkpoints before your time runs out or you will need to retry. This is a difficult but rewarding game, where mastering drift turning and eyeing secret shortcuts is essential to making it to the next race. But regardless of anything, one age old burning question remains. Does pineapple belong on pizza? That's Radical Bikers on the PlayStation. 
Next up, I picked up some PlayStation 2 promotional discs. Now these look a little different from regular releases, but they are in fact full games. And this is Justice League Heroes on the PlayStation 2. This is a beat-em-up game where, as one or two players, you can control DC superheroes, delivering swift justice with righteous fury, and saving civilians as you go. There's a wide range of characters to choose from, including Batman, Superman, The Flash, The Green Lantern, The Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman, and Zatanna. Each character has their own moves and unique special powers to unleash upon your enemies. The characters also level up as you progress through the game, making you more powerful as you go, and transforming you into an unstoppable force for justice. That's Justice League Heroes promo version on the PlayStation 2. And next up we have Rumble Rose's promotional disc on the PlayStation 2. This is a wrestling game, and it's a game I already had, but since it's a very good game, I thought it would be cool to grab a promotional variant as well. And this game is very good. It uses the game engine from WWE Smackdown Here Comes the Pain. And along with that already established and well received gameplay, it adds its own crazy, over the top characters and a fantasy filled story. I describe it like a mix of stardom, a Japanese woman's wrestling promotion, with the out of this world storytelling elements of Lucha Underground. This game has the option to jump right into quick pick up and play matches, which makes this game a great multiplayer game as well. But it also features an entertaining story mode, which dives into the action straight from the top rope. I'd definitely say this is a hidden gem. That's Rumble Rose's promo version on the PlayStation 2. And next up we have Urban Chaos promotional disc on the PlayStation 2. This is a first person shooter, and it's another game I already had, but this game came with another one of the games I picked up. In this game, you play the part of an elite officer in a special force, tasked with combating gang violence on a chaotic level. You gain equipment as you go, such as melee and ranged weapons, and a shield to deflect oncoming attacks. You can also squad up with others to gain assistance, such as firefighters or medics, who can benefit you by clearing the way of hazards or healing you, among other uses. But some of these allies can't engage in the action themselves, so they need to be defended. Civilians need saving too, and you have to ensure their survival if you want to succeed and ultimately save the day. That's Urban Chaos promo version on the PlayStation 2. And finally we have Devil's Third on the Wii U. This is an action game that features a mix of gameplay elements from hack and slash swordplay to shooting action, but this game had a troubling development. It was originally intended for the Xbox 360 and eventually it made its way to the Wii U platform as we know it. It went through a number of changes before release, in fact we saw in the original 2010 trailer for this game the main protagonists were completely different. The game featured a woman dressed in a snakeskin jacket and boots and a man with an X scar across his face. Funnily enough, despite these characters being removed from the final release and replaced with Ivan, the sole main character for the single player mode, the two removed characters still appear in the final game logo, which is pretty funny. What's not amusing though is that this game is pretty pricey, which I think is because in America its availability was limited to one retailer, and resellers elsewhere are matching that price. I did however get this game a lot cheaper than it normally goes for though. And I really do enjoy this game, and I think it could well be considered a hidden gem. This game is certainly a fun and forensic experience, and it's worth a playthrough. This game tries to do a lot of different things, it features crazy characters throughout explosive environments. As well as the hack and slash sword play, first and third person shooting, there's also some variety to change the pace, including interesting boss battles and vehicular racing. This game was very ambitious, and if you can find it at a good price, I'd recommend giving it a go. And if you need to justify the purchase, you can say the devil made you do it. That's Devil's Third on the Wii U. 
And there you have it, those are all of my pickups for this episode of Video Game Pickups. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me with Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time. <laughs>